Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman, and I'm the director and founder of Goldman & Associates. Our firm has a primary focus on family law issues, so please subscribe to our channel. Are there creative ways to protect assets during a divorce? There may be. I mean, it really depends on what the nature of the asset is. If it's truly a marital asset, in that it belongs to both parties, you could well expect that the court is going to make sure that a fair division occurs protecting those interests. What goes on though with families is sometimes you got informal interests. In other words, you have a house, two people are living in it, but really there's a third person who loaned the money to buy the house, you know, that kind of thing. There's nothing in writing because it's all family. Well, in a divorce, the court is going to tend to look at what is preserved and what is evidenced by what's in writing. So if you got some side deal going on where you borrowed money for the down payment from your uncle and he really has an interest in it but it's not documented, you better make sure that as this divorce is ramping up <clears throat> that there be a promissory note signed, that there be appropriate documentation of any third party interest. Because if not, the court's going to look at it like it's only the husband and wife who have an interest and is going to divide it that way and it could be that a person who also has an interest is going to be left out in the cold on that deal. So therefore it's very, very important if you're going to get a divorce and there are undisclosed interests, those need to be brought to light so that appropriate accommodation can be made. If you have any questions about that, reach out and we'll be glad to help you out.